Good morning, everybody. How you guys doing today? Yes, I know I'm still in my sleep here. Haven't gotten um, ready yet for today. Uh, happy MLK Day or Martin Luther King Day for those who don't know. And um, <clears throat> it's a pretty good day. So I posted up pictures the other day that the ZTE Max for Boost Mobile just recently got Kit Kat, and I know it's been a year. Since the device has been out, and then them been saying that they were gonna get Kit Kat and all this other stuff, but um, let me show you guys. Okay, my ZTE Max. Wow, I'm very bad at this. Okay, Android 4.4.2. Um, so let me explain what's going on with uh, Kit Kat. First off, is that Boost Mobile and ZTE are releasing batches of the system update by according to the DE, the DEC number of your device. And the reason why they're doing this is it's kind of like testing out the update, how well it is, um, and of course bug issues and all that stuff. So you may not have noticed a system update in your notifications yet, and don't fret, don't get upset. Um, they're releasing batches. There's no ETA when it's fully going to open up for every device to um, to update. But those of you who have gotten it are lucky to have gotten it. Those who haven't gotten it, hang tight and your number will be called. Or there is a uh, there is a there is a an actual update like zip file that you can force update the phone. However, you have to be totally stock. So if you rooted your phone, you would need to fully unroot your phone before doing it. If you rooted your phone and applied uh, Phil's Touch Recovery, you're going to need to um, download the stock recovery and flash that back on and then fully unroot your phone with Super SU and of course um, reboot your phone and then boot into recovery and force the OTA update the zip file force the update through and it'll work just fine that's exactly what I did with my device only because I was on super ROM for the the ZTE max and the update popped up when I was on that ROM but I was rooted and I had a custom recovery and I was on a custom ROM so it was gonna reject no matter what uh, yeah. So, uh, and the coolest thing about it is, is that it's not one of those ones where if it tried to um, install the update, it bricked your phone. It didn't wipe out the system first. It tried to apply the update and then patch and wipe. So, um, if it failed, you were still able to boot back into your ROM that you were already on. So, I'll put links in the description of where you guys could uh, get the um, the update. So you guys can uh, force the update yourselves already. Also, there is a root method, but it's pretty unorthodox, and I'm going to try it out sometime later this week, and I'll do a video about that as I'm doing it. So that way you guys can see how I rooted the ZTE Max on KitKat, as none of the one-click methods work. And um, yeah, I want to give a big shout out to Super R on Android forums. Um, He's, uh, he's a developer that is uh, working with the ZTE Max and brought us all kinds of goodies. Um, he does have he does have a, a rooted version of KitKat. However, there's two issues with that right now. One is the, the security section and settings. When you're in settings and you go to security to either add a pin or any of that stuff, uh, as soon as you click security, it force closes and you cannot clear um, app data as it reboots the phone so even trying to uninstall an application reboots the phone and the app will not uh, will not uninstall so those are two big issues that they're working on right now uh, eventually they will get those fixed so if you are on 4.1.2 jellybean and you're not in a hurry to get to kitkat and you still want to have root and custom recovery wait for that rom to actually get fixed and um, like I said, I'll put the link in the description of the video so you guys can keep tabs on it. And as soon as Super R releases a full working version that can be used as a daily driver, you guys can flash that on top. If you're already rooted with a custom recovery on Jellybean, you can flash that ROM and you won't lose root or your recovery. So anyways, uh, I'll do another video 
basically on uh, some of the things that's changed in KitKat. But I just wanted to show you guys I did get KitKat on my ZTE Max or the N9520 for Z, uh, from ZTE for Boost Mobile. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments section of this video. Uh, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up because it helps out. And don't forget to click that subscribe button that way. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.